Hello, welcome to the first day of Hurricane Irma for us here in Florida. Right now, nothing is happening here in Central Florida in the Orlando area because the storm is still down south around the Cuba, Miami, Key West area. It's just starting. We are getting a little bit of rain here and I'll go outside and I'll show you guys what it's like outside. We're just starting to get a little bit of rain and it's not, it is an outer, outer band. Like the storm is so big that it is stretching from the eye being down by Cuba to Orlando has some outer bands. So it hasn't started being real windy or rainy yet. It's just like a, a breeze and it's just kind of raining on and off here in Orlando. So let's go outside and have a look and see what it looks like. So you can see it's just, just a little bit breezy, not anywhere near hurricane force winds or anything like that. It's not a constant breeze and that'll be what it's going to be like during the hurricane. It'll be a constant wind, but there will be gusts that are much stronger. So those are the ones that'll do real damage. You know, maybe these trees will fall down. Maybe there'll be some, some like branches that fall. I think that's what we're looking for the most. Our pool's a little bit low right now, which I think we have a leak in our pool, but we'll deal with that after the hurricane. So if there's a lot of rain, we're looking at maybe around 10 inches of rain during this storm. And so it'll just fill our pool up and I don't think we're gonna get any flooding here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it just started like sprinkling in the pool here. We'll keep you guys updated as the day progresses. Also kind of wanted to share the mood with you guys. It is nerve wracking right now. <laughs> like all we're doing is waiting. There's nothing else that we can do. We've got all of our supplies, got everything set up. I got all my batteries charged, computers are charged. All of our phones are staying on the charger until the power goes out. AC upstairs is cranked down. We're gonna wait a little bit. These air conditioners down here get really cold really fast. So right when it starts to get like real heavy rain is when we're gonna crank these down so that if the power goes out, at least it'll be like cold in here and take a little while to heat back up. Uh, I'm gonna turn down the refrigerator to the lowest settings that it can go and the freezer to the lowest settings that it'll go so that the stuff that's in there will stay cold as long as possible. I got water everywhere around the house. I got like buckets upstairs in the bathtub so that we can flush the toilet if our like if our water doesn't work. I got pitchers in the refrigerator, I got gallon jugs, I got two and a half gallon jugs. I've got little like things of water laying around everywhere. I think we're good to go. I did a video of the whole house so that we know what's here just in case something happens where we lose everything. I'm getting ready to move our bed downstairs to where it's the safest because like I said we're not expecting flood waters here so our house is up around two feet so the water level in all of our area would have to raise by two feet and like i said we're only looking at about 10 to 12 inches of rain throughout the entire storm so it's plenty of time for it to drain away and stuff like that we should be good i think this is going to be more of a wind storm than it is a rain storm i think wind is going to be doing the most damage around us i'm fully expecting there to be branches down uh maybe a tree or two down around us hopefully nothing falling towards our house or anything like that we've put everything away that was outside. All of our trash cans are secured, all of our lawnmowers are secured, all of our plants that were outside are secured. Anything that was around the lawn furniture, stuff like that, has been either strapped down or put inside of the garage. Like we have a, a garage outside, it's just a like a storage area. And hopefully we'll be good to go. Nothing real crazy happening just yet. It's just sprinkling now. Tomorrow, starting at about noon, until noon on Monday is when we're gonna be in the thick of it. While we still have power, oh, yeah. we're making some dinner. We actually haven't even showed you guys. We started doing Blue Apron. A lot of you guys recommended that we try Blue Apron a few months back, so we did. And we're on our second box. So we're having some ratatouille tarts. Yeah. A little bit of Disney with our hurricane. Yeah, this is a fairy eggplant. It we, looks real crazy. I wish that I showed you like the actual um, eggplant before I cut it. It was really pretty. It was like lavender. Here's some other stuff that we're doing oh with God, it. Put it in. You gotta put the stuff in. Oh no. I'll get out of the way. What are we doing now? Oh, I got out the pie crust and put them on the pan. And then we're gonna put the vegetables that we just cooked in there. Those are the vegetables. That's the ratatouille, right? I guess so, yeah. I think we did it. I think okay. we made ratatouille. Oh no. We can cook the same food that rats can cook. Right? Was and we, a mouse or a rat? It was a rat. Yeah. And we can make it so that, oh, I thought you were going to put those in the pan. I was like, oh, looking no. over here. <laughs> I'm making the little, I guess there's going to be like a dollop of goat's cheese on the top. Oh, snap. Honestly, this is like a really fancy meal before the hurricane, because after the hurricane, we're going to be eating Chef beef, Boyardee. Beef, beefaroni. Yeah. Which I'm kind of excited for. Like, I haven't had it in forever. I haven't either. Like, SpaghettiOs? Yeah. Mm, I just hope we can warm it up. Chris? Warm it up, Chris. I'm about to. So, like, 
if I eat this, is it gonna be like that scene from Ratatouille where the, the like critic eats it and then he's transported back to his childhood? You're like spoiling the movie for me. I haven't seen it yet. No, it, 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 like that's a very minor part. Sounds pretty important. <laughs> so Tim is dividing up the veggies between the pie crusts. That's, and... that's my new movie. What is? Or my new book, Between the Pie Crusts. <laughs> that's your new cookbook? Yeah, I kind of like that. Are you gonna become a, a pie maker? Like, oh, like Pushing Daisies. Is that? Wasn't he a pie maker? I think so. I'm pretty what sure he was. What happened in that movie show? Well, they they canceled it after like half a season, I feel like. I don't even think it got like a whole season, I don't think. What the heck? But this, oh no, I forgot about this stuff on the side. Is that gonna be okay? Yeah, it'll be okay. Um, but yeah, then we just bake this for 15 minutes at 450 and put that, put the cheese on top and we're good. <laughs> oh no. Yum. This is gonna be like our last hot meal. Like I'm fully expecting the power to go out. Well, no, I just said that. Like this is literally after this, we're eating canned like cans of food. Maybe oh. warm. Is it gonna be warm? The, it'll be warm because we have the camp stove. Oh yeah. Okay. So I'm not. I mean, we're fine. I know that this is probably like the most futuristic thing that anybody's ever seen. I just pull out like a red triangle. I'm like the camp stove. I like how you go it's, like this is the best futuristic thing you've ever seen. Yeah, it's not really like the actual <laughs> stove itself is not futuristic, but like. If somebody no, listen. I was making fun know. of the way that you said most. You said must. Must. No, I can't get it open much. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped recording when you opened it, but I swear you this opened it. This is the camp stove, and it goes on top of like this. Boop, and then yeah. you cook with it. And then you just put like a pan on top of that, or yeah, I have this little pot that we can use. Yeah, there you I go. Also, we can like use any pot. It's fine. I'm pretty excited that we have this. Yeah, and this can actually be used inside as long as, you know, we're not just running it 24-7. Well, no, I mean... It's, it's clean. It's uh, propane. It's iso, isobutyl propane or something like that. We're just running it long enough to heat up our SpaghettiOs. So here are our ratatouille tarts. They actually look pretty delicious. They have to sit for a little bit and then they're going to get some like goat cheese, a little topping. But for the time being, I'm going to give this to Tim because he is hungry. So this is the little... Uh, it's squash, which I thought was kind of weird. I thought it was cucumber when I first looked at the picture, but it is. It's squash. And then I'm just going to put a little fresh chive on top. I'm doing this through the camera, so I'm like probably doing it all sorts of bad. There we go. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to give this to Tim, and then we will be eating the tots. It really looks like we're having dessert for dinner. Oh no, it's definitely not dessert. This is goat's cheese, so it's more like armpits for dinner. Mmm. Oh yeah. That sounds like my favorite thing ever. Fancy armpit pie for dinner. Armpit pie for <laughs> dinner. No, but for real, it, it actually it smells delicious, and from what I've tasted, it tastes delicious too. And so what I'm putting on top is just a little bit of goat's cheese with olive oil and salt and pepper. And then I'm just putting little pieces kind of throughout so you can get a little bit with your, you know, like with each bite. And then mm -hmm. I'm gonna top it with chives. Like this is kind of really a fancy dinner. Yeah, it is. Doesn't it look like dessert though? For real, it looks like a cherry pie or something. You're my cherry pie. Got a little Gucci so you smell like armpits. Let me give you guys a quick update on the weather. It has just started getting really bad down in like Key West and Miami area, so. Got a little bit of ways until it gets up here. It's just raining, a little breezy, and I don't really anticipate seeing anything intense today. You know, I'm anticipating maybe tomorrow. That's when we'll start to get like the, the actual hurricane weather. Oh my gosh, you guys. This looks really good. Yeah. What, what do if you I think? just ate it with my hands right now? Like, <laughs> I mean, I would... It'd be very hot because I, I feel say... it like through the bowl how hot it is. <laughs> do it, do it. Just kidding, don't really do it, don't really do it. <laughs> so I am finally going to eat mine. I was just feeding Bandit and cleaning up. But can we just appreciate this like bowl and how it's perfect for this? Look at that, it fits in there like perfectly. I love this. Look at that. This pleases me. Look at this, look at that. Look at this, look at that, look at this, look at that. Um, What is that? It's it's Tammy from Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers, yeah. We love Tammy. Is, she, is it Tammy? I don't know. Holy cow. It's pretty like amazing because I've been watching live streams online of like Miami and Key West and they're getting like pounded with this storm and this is our sunset up here. But tomorrow, tomorrow we'll be in that storm. Man, it's uh, not going to be fun tomorrow. <sighs> not going to be fun. Not looking forward to it. There you have it. The end of day one of Hurricane Irma. Nothing really happened today. Tomorrow, though, it's going to get crazy.
Good morning or afternoon and w or morning still and welcome to day two of Hurricane Irma waiting. So uh, the hurricane has slowed down a little bit. Not the well, the winds a little bit, but mostly the its travel through the I don't know, space. I guess I don't know what you would say. Like it's it's motion. So before it was moving like kind of fast. We expected to start feeling it at around noon today. It's going on around like 11:30. Haven't felt anything yet but looking at the radar there's like a little band right underneath us so i can i'm thinking that we're going to start feeling something soon so we are going to move the bed downstairs today so that we're in like the strongest part of the house away from windows and stuff like that also it's freezing cold upstairs because i've turned down the air conditioner so that it was cold in case we lost power so cold up there we're taking it down the stairs <laughs> oh no I'm we're gonna. Just it. Well, really let me hold on. Hard. I'm gonna stop vlogging so I can actually help. <laughs> uh, yeah, the corner. Hold on, hold on. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. There it is. Oh no! Oh no! Are you okay? Yeah. Does it fit? So oh no! I need kind to, like, of fits. Up and then like let it flop into place. I think. Uh oh. Okay. Hold on. Brb. There it is. This is gonna be our little makeshift kind of bedroom. Well, bedroom. <laughs> Draw me like one of your French girls during a hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> Bandit's gonna be able to sleep in the little baby bed with us. Can you go up in the bed, buddy? Get up here, Bean. Look, look, it's for you. He he's so good. He knows that he's not supposed to be up there. Go up there. It's okay. You can do it. We'll let you this time. Come on. Oh. Do you love it? <laughs> oh, I think you love it. Look at that little waggly tail putting his little butt all over our bed. No, <laughs> Aww, little babe. I think he's gonna be okay. Because we're just going to probably be honestly hanging out here. Here you go. You can kind of see it. You see this little dot that says Orlando. This is the storm that's getting ready to come to us. That'll be our first taste of the actual hurricane itself. But as you can see down here, the bad stuff is still really far away. So it's going to be a long day. And Bandit is all wrapped up and ready for action. He's... <laughs> Look at that one really long eye hair that he has. Where? Like, it's right there, yeah. Like this thing. What is this? Oh, oh he, he didn't like, like it. it. He's, those are his eyebrows. <laughs> what if somebody just came up to you and started touching your eyebrows? Would you like it? It's happened to me before. <laughs> so I signed up for text messages telling me like when stuff's going to happen. They said that in the next 15 to 30 minutes, the first squall line of Irma is going to come through and we should expect to see hurricane force winds. Yeah, we're starting to get some winds now. This should be enough to knock down a few branches. Maybe uproot some really small trees. I like how these two palm trees are just kind of chilling there. Like not even, oh, there goes a branch. Oh, oh no, it's in our yard. What the heck? Our power lines are right there. So I do fully expect to lose power when something happens. I'm sure that a branch will fall on the power lines. I think palm trees are the scariest because they're the, the most wiggly. We just got a warning that we are under a tornado warning or watch? Which one was it? It was a tornado warning. Which, what does that mean? Which one's more intense, a warning or a watch? I think that the watch is the more intense because a hurricane watch is yeah, you're, you're supposed to like look out yeah, for yeah. it, but like warning is like this storm could make a tornado, but so. a watch is like, we've seen a tornado, watch out. You think so? So they told us to go to the lower story of our house, which we are. And they said, well, I feel like we should probably go over there. Um, yeah, we can go the over there. Yeah. Said to stay away from windows and doors. So we're going to go sit on the bed, which is our like safe spot in the middle of the house underneath a very good support area. So here we are in our happy little corner of the house waiting. It's starting to get real like loud outside. The wind is. I don't feel comfortable going outside and showing you guys. So maybe after it like slows down a little bit, we'll have a look. We should be under a tornado watch for a little bit. Our backyard has started flooding just a little bit, so. There's that. So these are the trees that I'm most worried about as far as the wind goes. Doesn't really look like they're being affected by any wind at the moment, but there have been some pretty hefty gusts coming through and this isn't even the worst part of the storm yet. So this is still just the very beginning of the storm for us. So I just came back in because my uh, phone went off and we have another tornado warning. 
good times. The rain has kind of slowed down a little bit. A lot of branches have fallen off of that tree right there. The power has flickered a few times. That's still, oh, there it is right there. That branch right there is right up against the power line and you can see it zap when the wind blows real hard. So that is gonna be our downfall right there is that one branch or that one tree. All right, what are you having for dinner? What's your hurricane dinner? SpaghettiOs. Aww. You know what happened though? What? I When I was opening it, uh -huh. it like popped really like hard. Yeah. And it pinched my finger Aww. and I said, uh oh, spaghettios. <laughs> You're so crazy. That was a long yeah. setup, right? <laughs> it's been probably 20 years since I've had spaghettios. Really? Yeah. Whoa. So, well, I'm, this I'm... is a, like kind of a treat for me. Is it? I'm excited. <laughs> oh, okay, it's, good. They're like ridiculously hot right now, so I can't try it. Well, way to turn this negative into a positive. Yeah. High five. Welcome to my storm corner. Oh. <laughs> I think the most annoying thing about Everything that's going on. Can I be in your storm vlog? Yeah. Hi. I think the most annoying <laughs> thing about what's going on outside is I can see the tree that is going to knock out our power and there's nothing I can do about it. But it hasn't done it yet. Yeah, but it keeps like browning out. Yeah, like a little bit. Yeah, and it's just like it's annoying. Like I just either do it or don't do it. I mean, it is going to do it. You just have to wait. <laughs> Starting to get darker out. The winds are really starting to pick up. It's almost eight o'clock at night now. Oh, the tree that I was concerned about broke and fell, it looks like. All right, well, how about that? Everything is coming up Millhouse. Our power's out. Oh no. You can't see anything. Oh, oh, it's back on. Oh my gosh, this happened already once. I wonder if this is gonna keep happening. I think it might. So I think something keeps like touching the power lines and that causes a short and then it backs away. Is that bad for all of our electronics to keep, like should we turn everything off? Well, we'd have to unplug everything. Oh. It's, it's totally fine. It's the same as turning it on and off. I hope that it doesn't keep going off and on like this all night. But Me we'll too. see. It's uh, gotten a lot, a lot more intense. Ooh, is that lightning? Is there lightning going on? Alrighty then. I'm. Uh, oh, there goes the power. Is it gonna come back on? Well, I think that was it. I know we said that before, but I think our power is now officially out. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So here, I was trying to give you like a little light under your face, like usually like a spooky story. This, it'll probably happen one more time where it'll try to turn back on, and uh, I think that that will be. Ooh, Sorry. Look at this. Is that? Is no, that okay? it's totally fine. So I think that uh, it should try to turn back on one more time, and if it's unsuccessful that time, then we're our power is out. Yeah, no, I don't think it's coming back on now. Oh, All right. No. We've got a little light that's shining a little bit on us, keeping us, kind of giving us a little bit of light so we can actually see. The storm is raging outside, so much so that I'm not comfortable going outside. Like, I don't want any sort of, like, doors opening and closing and changing of pressure inside of the house. I'm just going to let it be, you know? Uh, there's a lot of wind. I keep hearing, like, snapping of branches and stuff like that, so... Tomorrow morning when we go outside, we're gonna check and see if there's any damage, anything, any fallen trees or anything like that around the house. Will it will it still be happening tomorrow morning? Hopefully, it will be mostly done tomorrow morning. <gasps> what was that? I can like hear the doors moving. Yeah. I think that was a big gust. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely a lot of wind out there. Yeah. Um, and this is, I think, by the time it like the hardest part reaches us it should only be a category two. Oh, so this is, isn't even the hardest part uh i don't think so no oh no um i think i'm most scared of it happening like while we're asleep right which is what we're about to do right now so we'll catch you guys in the morning 
Oh, show him the baby boo. Here's Bandit all snuggled up with us. We tried to get him to go to the bathroom in his like little sod pool thing that we have set up for him. He wasn't having it. So we'll see what happens. He might just end up peeing somewhere in the house, which is fine. We'll clean it up, but we gave you a little pool bandit <laughs> and you didn't use it. 1 a.m. and the wind is howling. We're supposed to be heading into the worst part of it here pretty soon. I feel like you guys might be our good luck charm though because as long as I'm recording it's really not as loud or scary as it's been. So it's the next morning. Um, this is the latter half of the hurricane. It's not raining anymore. It is raining just a little bit. It still is real, real, real windy. And you can tell like a lot of the trees have been like culled. So there's not as much like foliage in the trees around here. Of course you can see it's like all around me on the ground here. It's in the bottom of the pool there. And you can see it just, everything seems less, like there's not as many leaves. I can see through a lot more trees now. So the worst of it, which was the eye wall, which we thought was gonna be off the coast of Tampa, Ended up being right over top of Orlando. We got, you know, 100 plus mile an hour winds. Today, look at my craziness, like this mustache right here. We don't have power. We haven't had power since the hurricane. So we're going on day two. Today we is the 12th, September 12th. Yeah. Hurricane uh, hit on the 10th. I think honestly, like, I don't know how much like longer I can live without power. <laughs> like, I know there are people, um, when Tim tweeted about it, Somebody said, oh, I'm, I'm in Puerto Rico and we haven't had power for six days. Yeah. I like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, I, how? <laughs> like, I couldn't do it. Yeah, it's mostly the air conditioning that's the hardest. Yeah. Like, But you, you have to think that they're hotter than we are. Right. Like, they're way closer to the equator, equator, right? Yeah, I just thought maybe they had like sea breezes. I don't know. Whereas but... we don't have anything. Well, there's like a, the slightest breeze blowing right now, but it's a little it's still very hot in the house but you know what though honestly because we're doing some yard work which we'll show you guys like what we did to the yard it was pretty intense yeah um but it's been nicer outside doing the yard work yesterday we did it for like five hours we were outside yeah. straight five hours straight in the in the heat but it was it wasn't bad yesterday wasn't bad because we were still in the hurricane yesterday oh because we did have a lot of wind and yeah, it was like it, yeah. super windy yeah so yeah you know. today's gonna be terrible we'll see how today goes <laughs> but the good news is We've seen the power company like working around our house. They were working on it until like midnight last night. Yeah. We kept hearing it like pop, like they were trying really hard and it just didn't, it just wasn't working. Yeah. So, so hopefully they figure it out today. Thumbs up to them for coming out and doing everything. Yeah. Like, and, and some of you guys even tweeted that they, um, people from Canada came yeah. down to help with the hurricane, like with the power. I so, think that big pop just then was them trying the power again. Let's go show them what we did so far. Yeah. So here's our nasty pool. It's real gross right now. The good news is, they saw it when it had all yeah, this stuff, right? you guys saw it when it was just like black in the bottom down here from all of the leaves. We took out, uh, what, like two garbage bags full of leaves from the bottom of the pool here. In the backyard, there were so many uh, branches and stuff, just debris. Like I edited that video already and I, it didn't look bad when I was editing it. And then when I came out and I actually had to like break it up and bag it up, I was like, whoa. <laughs> and then we did the front yard too. We took out, I think it was something like, they're out by the curb right now. There's like uh, bags, I think. 15. Oh, 15? Yeah, 15 uh, huge 55 huge, gallon. Like the biggest ones that you can yeah, buy. Yeah, contractor bags. Oh my gosh. And then aside from that, there's also like a giant pile of branches. Oh, that yeah. we're gonna work on some more today and we'll go show you guys the side because we have two lots there's this one that we our house is on mm -hmm. and there's an empty lot next to us we'll show you what the empty lot looks like it's uh it's looking pretty rough right now yeah well but it looked bad before this because i really don't want to mow the side yard because <laughs> it's so big yeah so 
this is like a little deceiving. It looked bad before. And so I know it's kind of hard to see, but do you guys see like these little, like I call them branches, but what else, I don't know what, what else you would call them. These but are you, branches, right? You should show them the ones that you took out from yesterday. Yeah, there was one, like you can see some of the spots here on the fence where it's broken. Like a branch fell on the fence there, a branch fell on the fence here, and all kinds of other stuff. So yeah, we got to get all of these things up today. All these like little branches so we can mow so we can actually mow without yeah. ruining the lawnmower the other thing that happened during the storm is this little thing that the post here is in for our gate was wiggled all the way out from the gate going back and forth so i'm going to pull that out and put it in concrete today i got three of them like that so i'm going to do it to all three today oh, man so <laughs> we're bagging up some of the piles that we made um, we're gonna do this in like sections because our back like side yard here is kind of big and very uh, filled with sticks so <laughs> it's gonna take some time it's a lot of stuff like this too that's like little but big at the same time I don't know they're the most annoying size of sticks <laughs> right on a scale of one to a really annoying stick this one's about a seven <laughs> here's a representation of how much debris we're cleaning up here in the backyard we've got it all raked into a big line right here so I'm thinking that's going to be like maybe one, two, three, four, five, maybe six bags, seven bags, and bandit. <laughs> well, it's been all day, but everything is all cleaned up. No more hurricane debris. I thought you were going to say, no more, Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, Mr. Hur nice Hurricane Debris. <laughs> yeah, it's been hot. You got a little sunburn? I got a lot of sunburn, I think. I was just so like... I think some of that's just like being hot too. I think some of it's just dirt too. Yeah. I think we're like covered in dirt. I tell you this, we don't have power still, but I know that, like, I almost said hot shower. I know that cold shower is gonna feel nice. Yeah, definitely. Oh, but there it is. Oh no, Bandit was peeing. In case you guys are wondering what it's like for us here in Florida without any power, we've got our little fans going. I'm so happy that you bought, I thought these fans were so stupid until right now right this second <laughs> they're fantastic actually no they worked that one day when we went to the park but oh like, yeah but like right now it feels really nice it really does it's it's sort of hot in here like it's it's just at that level where it's like gosh like you're just starting to sweat well and we took a cold shower too like yeah so i feel like oh here's a pro tip for you guys if you lose power still use your hot water because the water coming in through the cold side is like coming th for us from underground and it's colder underground. But the water coming from the hot water heater, although it's not hot, it's room temperature. So it's like not as cold. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, we've got like a ton of lights going. As you guys can see, there's one right there. That you guys can see this one is, uh, there's like a an LED strip thing that I have inside of there. It's like a little lantern type flashlight thing they're working though everything's yeah. like everything's so it's okay. like i feel like we're kind of well lit for having no power yeah it's yeah. lit yo day three without power do you guys hear that we got a generator we got an ac going in the window down here we've got internet we've got lights there are lights in our house right now it feels good in here i'm not sweating like crazy bandits more comfortable we're doing it like we are Feeling better. Now I can go take a shower and like clean up, shave finally, because I feel like I was not able to shave when we had power, we didn't have power. Still don't have power, but like, I don't know why I didn't shave. I'm gonna shave and I'll be able to do my mustache and my hair and I'll feel like a new person. Did we say anything about the generator? No, I just said we were going to get it. I didn't even say we were going to get it. I just oh, said we got it. You guys, this is so crazy. But one of you guys, Christina, literally tweeted at me and said hey i have a generator my power's back on do you want to borrow our generator and i'm yeah. like no oh, i could never and she's like no seriously like it's just gonna sit here i have power and i was like okay are you serious like i yeah. just i'm so i will never not be completely in shock and awe of people's just like kindness yeah like what I was saying in the other video, which might be this video still, I don't really know how that worked out. Yeah, I don't know either. Okay, <laughs> but I was saying how like the thing with the storm is that it's really bringing everyone together, and I think that's so amazing. And like, I'm, 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 I'm I really am. Like, I just, 
I don't know. I just think it's amazing. Yeah. Th thank you to everyone for being so awesome and yeah. for being... Uh, I know, I'm sorry, you're not doing this right now. Like, I know this is not the kind of vlog you're trying to have at the moment. But, like, I just had to say it. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for being awesome. Th for real. Honestly. So, the good news is... <laughs> okay, I'll leave uh, now. I'll leave now. Because we have AC, that means that I can, like, head back out to the theme parks. I'm not gonna do that today because it took, like, kind of a long time to get the generator get the AC in and, in and everything so like the day's not entirely gone but it's gone for the most part and I got all sweaty and all that stuff so we're gonna hang out here at home maybe watch some more Stranger Things we've been watching it on the iPad like sporadically because the iPad's been slowly draining but now the iPad is not drained like it's being charged right now by the generator so we can still watch Stranger Things good to go so that, that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hang out at home put up the video from the hurricane and watch Stranger Things, eat SpaghettiOs, shower, shave, do things. And thus concludes our Hurricane Mega Vlog. Like that was from the start of the hurricane, the day before it happened, all the way through all of our cleanup around the house and getting things back to normal. And uh, we still don't have power, but it will come back eventually. So I hope you guys enjoyed the, the Mega Vlog. You guys can kind of see what it's like to be in a hurricane, like a little bit, like just a glimpse of it. So, we're all safe, good to go, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.